What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at day five of our clan war leagues in tribe gaming. Let's just go ahead and take a look at all the triples. All right guys, so here you go. You can see on the screen here, we got the victory in day number five, 40 to 30. We were able to get 10 triples in this day. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the attacks. You guys know the drill. We're gonna be showing all the replays from this week of CWO. So first off, Eve Check going to be coming in on their top base, number one here, making a little bit of a funnel on the bottom right side. Tesla pops up. Luckily, his loons are still able to get that. Then he's going to be using some giants to distract here, so he'll be able to get the wall break. Luckily, that wall breaker trap wasn't maxed because he sent in the rest of the wall breakers just a second too early. Didn't give enough time for that other wall breaker trap to go off. Going to be using his queen to charge in here into straight into the single target inferno, so he's going to have to freeze it. Queen's going to get this builder hut, then she's going to go left, get the single target inferno. She can reach that archer tower and that cannon, and then eventually she's going to step up for this town hall. First, she's going to have to fight the Roa champ here, so he's going to have to drop a second rage. Uh, Queen's going to step up, finish off the cannon, get that platform. Now she can step up and reach the town hall. Queen aggro's on, so he's going to be able to kill the enemy queen. He's going to have to freeze the giga inferno here to save his healers. Queen's going to step up for this elixir storage next. The CC is going to get pulled. Air scale is getting pulled. Tons of traps over here. Queen's going to lock on to the Hound, though, so he is going to have to drop a minion to help kill these uh, air skellies so that he doesn't lose any healers here. He does actually lose one healer. A little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Queen's going to be able to kill all these pups thanks to the, uh, thanks to the help of that poison spell. And now he's going to start with the hybrid in from this bottom left side. Queen hits a tornado trap. King and Siege Barracks getting used over here at the 9 o'clock side. Warden gets dropped kind of late here. Roro Champ in with the hybrid. They're going to be able to push through that early heal. Helps to keep everything alive. Queen's still alive. She's distracting a uh, Expo in the core here. And the Warden platform has to pop her ability because there's so much DPS on her. She's going to find yet another Skelly Trap. Now she's going to be able to take out the Warden. Uh, Warden ability already used. Roa Champ pushing through. Max Hogs come out of the clan castle. BK and Pekka still alive pushing through this uh, left side of the base here. And the hybrid pushing through into the last inferno compartment. Queen's still alive. Going to be doing cleanup on the edge of the base over here. Luckily saved a wizard and some archers over here for the right side. Just to help make sure it's not going to be a time fail. But this one wasn't even close on time guys. This was like a 2 and minute and 20 second attack. Something like that. Super quick. Coming in, getting the triple here uh, on number one, on the top base. Nice job there by him with the Queen Charge Hybrid. Again, guys, we're using Queen Charge Hybrid on almost everything. The next attack here is going to be by Itsu. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid again. Everybody's using it. And Itsu is going to show you guys how to use it on one of these ugly looking bases with the Town Hall way on the outside. Trying to bait some sort of Queen Walk over here. And then it's got these ugly rectangular shapes on the inside. Itsu is going to be coming in here, tripling it. Early haste spell, get that uh, mortar down, then sends more balloons. He wanted to get that cannon, but they end up pathing over here to this uh, troll Tesla. Well, not really troll Tesla, but just hidden Tesla that kind of pops up and throws him off. He, luckily, he's still able to get the cannon to make the funnel. And he's going to be sending Queen right in over here. Already used all his wall breakers, so he's going to have to figure out something to get this Inferno Tower down to save his healers. I'm going to rage the Queen. Through the Warden and through the Scattershot, out comes the CC. Queen's going to get stuck on these Ice Golems. He's going to be using his Siege Barracks over here at 3 o'clock. Still has the King to use as well. That Inferno Tower is going to start locking on to his healers here. A little unfortunate there. They're going to start to die, so he has to freeze it uh, to try and keep these healers alive. Queen gets the Town Hall down. Now the Inferno Tower is locked on to the Hybrid Troops. Uh, the Roa Champ's going to be able to take that out, so the healers do stay alive. Queen's going to distract this Scattershot, so the Hybrid doesn't have to worry about that. He's out of spells, but that Royal Champ at full health, King at full health, Queen still has her ability, pops her ability there. They're going to be able to take out the rest of the base here, no problem at all. Nice attack there by Itsu, showing you guys how to take out one of those weird looking rectangular bases. Using the Queen Charge, using the Hybrid, guys. It's working on a lot of different things right now. Now we're going to go straight into the next attack. Again, Eve Check, Itsu and Eve Check taking out all these top bases at the moment. Going to be doing a Queen Charge Hybrid again. Dropping the Queen over here. Coco Loon Healer's in behind. CC comes out right away. It's going to be a triple Ice Golem. So he's just going to have to give her a little bit of time to get through that. So we'll fast forward through it. Again, this is another one of those scary bases because you really don't want to get the one star. The Town Hall's really deep in the middle with nothing around it. So you have to figure out a way to get to the Town Hall. So I believe he's just going to end up saving the Blimp for it to make sure that the Blimp can get all the way to it. 
and secure the two star. Queen's going to be walking down south over here. He's going to lose a healer to a seeking air mine there. Queen's going to get the eagle eventually. That tornado trap is going to mess with him, but not too much. Uh, Queen's going to keep on walking to the left. She is going to skip that expo on the right, but it's going to be okay. He's going to start with the hybrid right here. King uh, over at 9 o'clock to help funnel. That hybrid is just going to push around the base like this. And then eventually he's going to drop the blimp here for the town hall. Going to rage, heal everything, keep the hybrid going around. Pops a warn ability. The blimp's job is to get the town hall all by itself. The yeti mites are going to be able to get it because he freezes there. A bunch of skelly traps pop there. But they're still going to be able to get the town hall even without a rage. Everything else pushing around the edge of the base. Luckily queen can walk the rest of the base. So as long as he keeps queen alive it doesn't really matter if everything else dies off. She's going to be able to get the entire base here. And that's going to be a nice attack there by Evecheck. Showing you guys how to destroy these ugly ring bases where you can just walk everything except the town hall. You shouldn't be too afraid of them. You just got to figure out a way to make sure you're not going to one star. Next attack here is going to be by Tony coming in on... Uh, this base here, I believe this is a base that Itsu made and then these guys decided to copy it and run it against us for some reason So not the smartest idea by them. Tony's gonna show you guys how to beat it here Coming in with the early blimp over here for the Queen and the Inferno not even gonna have to use a rage spell here The uh, blimp's gonna be able to get the Inferno down and they're gonna do a ton of damage to the Queen They almost take her out. She's gonna have just a sliver of health left, but his Queen's gonna be able to finish her off and then the idea of the queen walk here is you want to get the queen to walk into this channel where she can get a ton of value including these scatter shots and the eagle. And then king over here on the left side he did wall break early so king can come get these trash buildings and then just miners and hogs right in between for the town hall. Queen's going to take out the enemy CC here with the poison spell. Warden and Royal Champ going in with the hybrid everything pushing in toward the town hall here early heal spell to make sure everything's at full health before that town hall gets activated. Another rage on the queen here to keep her alive. She's getting hit by that scatter shot. She's going to step up for the eagle pretty soon. She's going to start messing with this uh, air sweeper and the clan castle to help make the pathing even better for the hybrid. He's going to go ahead and freeze the scatter shot and the eagle here so they don't do any more damage before they get taken out. Already used the warden ability over the town hall. Uh, Roa champ pushing through over toward this back end inferno tower. King still alive, making the funnel on the outside. Queen still alive, getting a bunch of stuff over here on the right side of the base. And then the hybrid is pushing through over here toward the back end. As long as they can get that single target Inferno, it's going to be GG. Road Champ still has ability. Queen still has ability. He has to pop the Queen ability here because she did get locked onto by that single target Inferno. But she's going to be able to keep wrapping around up top and get all these defenses on the outside of the base. That single target Inferno is eventually going to lock onto her and take her out, but it doesn't matter. He still has the Road Champ. She's going to be able to take out this Inferno eventually. Bunch of miners still up, King still up, Warden still up. That's going to be a triple there by Tony. Nice job by him showing you guys how to beat this Itsu base that we used in the Town Hall 13 Cup, I believe. It helped us win the Town Hall 13 Cup. Next attack going to be by Wazman himself coming in here with the Queen Charge Hybrid again. Uh, this time I believe he is going to be using the Siege Barracks. No blimp on this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at how he does it. Drops the queen, finds the Tesla farm right away. All the Teslas down here on this side of the base. Going to have to rage up, wall break, gets the king kill there. Uh, CC comes out. He is going to poison it here. Double ice golem and a witch. He's going to be able to take that out with the poison. King's going to make the funnel on the top side. There was a Tesla farm over here, so it kind of messed with him a little bit. But queen's still going to go inside. She's going to take out this town hall uh, as long as he uses his second rage here. He's going to time those wall breakers to go in right as the town hall is dying. So they're going to get the second layer break. Queen's going to step up for this uh, clan castle soon. And the air defense, she'll be able to reach it all in this compartment. And he's going to be dropping the siege barracks to make the funnel on this side. And then hybrid right in between. Row a champ over here to help funnel the hybrid even further into the core. Out come the max hogs from the CC. Queen's going to get locked onto that by that single target Inferno. She's going to go down. He gets a little bit of a weird split here. A lot of his troops go up. A lot of his troops go down. But he's still going to be able to triple it thanks to this healer switch onto these troops over here. They're going to keep the troops nice and full, topped off on health the whole time. So that scatter shot's not going to be able to finish him off. So really a uh, nice job here. A little bit lucky with the healer swap, but we're going to pretend like it's planned. Wazman's a god. He's going to be able to get the triple here. Tons of miners still alive. Nice attack there by Wazman on the number eight base here. We'll go ahead and bounce out. Take a look at the next replay. Number nine, this one's gonna be by Elliot again. Elliot just getting a triple every single day. This guy is unstoppable. 
Coming in here with, again, the Queen Charge Hybrid, guys. It, it works on almost every base, honestly. So he's going to be dropping his Queen right over here at 730. King to make the funnel on the bottom side. Going to be wall breaking straight into the Town Hall here. Uh, wall breaker fails, actually, and then he sends in more wall breakers. Luckily, his uh, last set of wall breakers do end up popping the wall open. That Mortar not able to stop him. Queen's going to get the Town Hall down super early, so you already know he's not going to one-star. He's going to have to drop a Rage here pretty soon to keep the Queen alive. There is a lot of DPS coming up on the Queen here, so he might have to drop invest in a Freeze. He does. Drops the Freeze on the Scattershot and the Expo. Queen's going to have to fight the enemy King here as well. Luckily, she gets the Scattershot down before she switches targets to fight the King. If she had switched targets to fight the, the King first, it would have costed him another spell because that Scattershot would be hitting his Queen right now, doing a ton of damage. So out comes the CC. He did do a Yeti Bomb over here for this Inferno compartment. I kind of missed that. I was zoomed in too far. Uh, gets all these defenses down and creates pathing and gets the CC pool. So the CC is going to come over here to his Queen where he can kill it with a Poison spell here. And then I believe he's just going to be sending in the Hybrid from this right side of the base. Yep. All the Miners from the right with the Warden. Uh, Royal Champ and the Hog is going to be coming in soon. And there go the Hogs. Here comes the Royal Champ. Everything going to be pushing through. Already popped the Queen ability to keep her alive. Going to freeze the scatter shot and the Wizard Tower and the Warden platform. Then he's going to be healing here over the core. Some of the Miners have to split off to get this trash on the bottom side, but they'll eventually catch up again with the rest of the stuff. Going to be popping the Warden ability here in the core to help keep everything alive. Queen beat through the wall. She's going to get this Inferno Tower. Then she's going to step up for some of these defenses on the left after she's done dancing inside that Tornado Trap. He has one more heal spell here to use on everything moving into this bomb tower. Roa Champ still at full health with her ability. She's going to be what ends up finishing off the rest of the base here in a little bit. Queen's going to take out quite a few of these Teslas, which is nice. Miner's still pushing through. Uh, a couple hogs still alive. Roa Champ still has her ability. She doesn't have much health left, but as soon as she pops her ability, she'll go back up close to full health. She's going to take out all these skelly traps, and then she's going to go over there for that last Inferno compartment. So we're going to go ahead and times two through this. Pop her ability. She's going to get everything over here with the help of the Warden. She's eventually going to go down here to that cannon, but the Miners are going to be able to finish off that last cannon and the Mortar with ease here in a little bit. Nice attack here by Elliot with the Queen Charge Hybrid. A little bit weird pathing for the Hybrid coming in on a really wide side of the base, but it's still going to end up working out really well. Nice job there. Next attack here is going to be by me on the number 10 base. On this ugly looking base, um... I think this was an old, old Itsu base, can't remember, but we didn't have this one for FC, so we had to come up with a new plan for it. So I'm just going to blimp the Town Hall, get the early CC pool, make sure that the Town Hall goes down nice and early. Then I'm going to drop the Queen over here at 730. I want her to go into this channel here. I want to use the King on this side, and then I'm just going to Hog right in between, and it's going to end up working out. I think all of my Hogs end up dying, but the uh, King and Royal Champ finish off the base. There's This base is just such a weird shape. It's hard to find good pathing for it. Uh, I'm going to use the baby dragon over here to funnel this gold storage. Queen's going to take out the CC. I do have to rage early because because of where I dropped my queen, somehow this archer tower was in range, even though it didn't look like it was in range. Uh, apparently it was, so I had to burn an early rage spell. Then I'm going to be dropping queen here. Now, I did drop that freeze just a little bit too early. Honestly, the queen wasn't in uh, range of the enemy queen yet, so it does cost me my ability dropping that freeze too early. Then I'm just going to drop all the hogs here from 6 o'clock. They're going to be pushing through, taking out this uh, Inferno Tower right here so it doesn't mess with any of my healers. R another Rage on the Queen here to keep her alive. i still got one more free spell in case I need it to keep her alive. Pop the Warden ability there to save all those hogs from the Bomb Tower. I'm going to freeze the enemy Royal Champ here to keep my Queen alive. And then all the hogs are starting to split off in different directions, which is not that good for me. Some of them going this way, some of them going this way. So I'm not able to heal all of them at the same time, unfortunately. That's why I do end up losing a lot of the hogs here. Uh, but they're going to be able to push through. The Royal Champ is going to be able to finish off that Inferno Tower here in a little bit. Uh, King's going to be able to finish off the rest of the base with the help of this Royal Champ as well. I'm going to get a Healer Swap here after the Queen goes down. Royal Champ ability is going to get a ton of defenses over here. She gets all of these down uh, back up to full, almost full health. The Healers are going to help keep her alive here because of this Expo though. She's going to be able to get that Inferno Tower and the Wizard Tower. And the Archer Tower, and then the King's going to be able to finish off the rest of the base here. Because he's still at full health with a bunch of Barbarians. And they're going to be able to come over here and get this Expo. So we'll fast forward through that. Uh, showing you guys how to beat this old school Itsu base. I think it's an Itsu base. I might be wrong. I think this is one that he made like months ago and showed on his channel. 
Next attack, though, coming in on number 12 here. This one's going to be by Hex. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hogs on this base here. I think he's going to be doing an early blimp for the topside Inferno. Yep, using some balloons here and the blimp coming in. He wants to get this Inferno Tower down to set up pathing for his Queen Walk and get the early CC pool. Go ahead and take a look at the value it gets here. The Yetis are actually going to drop in the same compartment as the enemy queen, but I don't think they're going to quite kill her. They did a lot of damage to the enemy queen, though. Got her down to like 10% HP almost. Got the CC pool. Going to be using a baby dragon up top to make the funnel. So after the CC dies, he knows his queen's going to walk to the left. He wants her to go in for that town hall. So he is going to drop his BK to make the funnel on the right. I mean, on the left side here. BK is going to walk like this. Can drop a wizard to support him if he wants to. I don't think he does on this one, though. Unfortunately, a Tesla does pop here, so it makes the King pathing a little bit questionable. Not sure if he's going to walk down or up at this point because of that Tesla. He does end up dropping the Wizard over here on the left. Uh, king does walk to the left. He's going to make the funnel here, so perfect job by the King. His Queen's going to end up fighting the enemy King here, so he is going to have to rage pretty soon. There goes the rage spell to keep the Queen alive. Uh, the Tesla farm did pop early, so he's going to be able to get it out of the way before the Town Hall ever activates, which is nice. Queen's going to step up, get all this junk over here. We're going to fast forward through some of this. we got a ton of attacks to show. Queen's going to get this Tesla. Uh, two Skelly Traps pop. Luckily, he's, he's able to take care of those before the Giga Inferno activates. He's going to go ahead and pre-rage up again, so he knows Queen's going to be able to get that Town Hall. And then he's going to start the Hogs from the right side of the base with the Warden and the Royal Champ coming in. Going to pop an early ability to evade the damage of that Bomb Tower. The first volley of Eagle Shots and the Enemy Queen. Royal Champ takes out the Enemy Queen there. And then all the hogs just pushing through the core here. Royal Champ pushing through with them. They're going to be able to take out this whole base here with ease. Uh, doesn't even need the Queen ability. Doesn't even need the Royal Champ ability. Doesn't even need that last free spell. Just a ton of good value from that Queen walk in the early blimp. Set up the nice pathing for the hogs here. And then the rest is just clean up so we can fast forward right through that. Beautiful attack there by Hex. Royal Champ ability to get that last platform in the core of the base. Awesome stuff there. I think we still got two more attacks to show today. SLS coming in on base number 14 here. A little bit of an awkward base. It's hard to get pathing straight into that town hall, but SLS is going to find a way to do it here. Going to be starting off with the king and the queen over here on the top side of the base. King's going to make the funnel on the right side, going this way, using the queen to walk this way. Uh, no wall breakers on this one. He does have a jump spell, though, so he's going to get the queen right in, I believe, over here over this air defense so that she can reach the inferno tower get the CC, hopefully uh, get the Town Hall if she paths correctly. That's the plan here. He's going to be using a Baby Dragon to funnel this side just to make sure Queen's going to go inside for that jump spell. Now he is going to be sending in a couple hogs, watch this, from the top side just to get the CC pool nice and early. He wants to get the CC to go to his Queen before the Town Hall activates, but not quite sure if that's going to happen because the King's still alive. He's going to be dropping the uh, jump spell further to the left because of that. He doesn't want the Town Hall to activate right when the CC is coming out because you don't want to fight both the Giga Inferno and the CC at the same time. That would just be devastating on your Queen. He is going to freeze the enemy Queen there to make sure that she goes down uh, and he doesn't have to pop his Queen ability. Now he can fight the enemy CC. Giga Inferno still hasn't activated. She's going to step up here and get the Warden. That Tornado Trap, unfortunately, is going to spin his Queen to the left, which is going to make the Queen path away from the Town Hall here. So he is going to have to change plans a little bit and Miner straight into the Town Hall. We were telling him on the fly to do that. So he is going to drop his Siege Barracks on the right side. Miner straight into the Town Hall. Going to pop the Warden ability here so that his Road Champ doesn't take any damage from that Giga Bomb. And then everything kind of pushing through in unison. Gets a really nice free spell here on the Scattershot and the Inferno Tower together. Uses his first heal spell here in the core. Gets a little bit of a healer swap onto the Miners, which actually ends up being really nice because you don't really need the healers on the Queen anymore. There's nothing hitting her and she's just beating on a wall anyway. The P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards moving through, getting the trash buildings over here. The Miners pushing through this side of the base. Eventually, a bunch of them are going to come out here to the trash ring, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. There's just a Tesla farm on the back end here. Queen's going to be able to get most of that down with her ability anyway. Royal Champ going to get stuck on these uh, Air Skellies. Out come some Max Hogs from a Siege Barracks. Honestly, doesn't even need the Max Hogs. I don't even think they're going to do anything. The Miners basically took out the entire base. The Max Hogs really just for cleanup at this point. Doesn't even need them. Beautiful attack there by Sir Longsword, kind of adjusting the plan on the fly. He wanted Queen to get that Town Hall. She didn't get it down, but that's okay. He was able to just mine her straight into it, and it ended up working out really well. Last attack here of the video going to be by Shazo, coming in again with another Queen Charge Hybrid. 
I believe with again with the siege barracks on this one I'm gonna be dropping the queen he does want the queen to walk the town hall on this one but it's not gonna end up working out quite how he wanted to he's trying to wall break here on the town hall but he ends up getting a wall breaker fail CC gets pulled early though because of those wall breakers she's gonna get the CC down and then she's gonna step up inside this channel here she's gonna get that AD she's gonna come over here step toward the row of champ gonna have to use his second rage already and pop the queen ability so already kind of off to a rough start she's not gonna be able to reach the eagle either so he's just gonna drop his king and his siege barracks over here and then just minor straight into the town hall at this point he was kind of you know trying to adjust on the fly again save the two star make sure you minor into the town hall but it's gonna end up working out the miners are gonna get so much value here they're gonna end up tripling the base queen over here on the left side she's starting to take a lot of damage he's gonna have to use another uh, spell on her if he, if he wants to keep her alive or actually she ends up just barely stepping outside the range of that expo just in time uh, so she can stay alive everything pushing through into the core he already used the warden ability he's gonna have another rage here and a freeze to help keep everything alive pushing through the core row champ miners hogs everything pushing through another heal spell to keep them alive everything just getting so much value inside this rage still has the row champ ability that he's gonna be able to pop here queen goes down he's gonna get a healer swap here healers moving into the core they're gonna keep some of these miners alive that last Inferno Tower is going down right now. And from here, it's just going to be clean up. Nice job there by Shazo, adjusting on the fly, saving the attack there. Luckily, he brought some cleanup archers to get these random trash buildings that stayed alive on the edge of the base. A wizard over here at 6 o'clock. They're going to be able to get everything down. Nice job here by Shazo, getting the triple on this bottom base in the war. Beautiful job by him. Nice job by all the guys in Tribe. We were able to get, what was it, 10, 10 triples in this war ended up finishing uh, this war off 40 to 30 that's gonna be day number five uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna be taking a look at day number seven we already looked at day number six in one of the previous videos if you want to watch that make sure you go check it out on my channel if you guys like the content make sure you subscribe use code Lexnos in game uh, to help support me when you're purchasing gems and other than that I'll catch you guys in the next video